Boy and Girl Playing in Dresses by Sissy Tanya. On a warm summer day, two women sat on a park bench, watching their children play in front of them. The children, both dressed in lovely red dresses, ran around, giggling and shouting as they chased each other. One of the women was a tall, elegant lady with a warm smile, while the other was a more down-to-earth woman, who looked tired but content. As they watched the children play, they struck up a conversation. The elegant lady introduced herself as Helen, and the other woman as Susan. They quickly got to talking about their children. Helen spoke of her son, Chris, who was a bit of a troublemaker at school. He had been caught bullying other kids, and as punishment, his school had mandated that he dress up in girls' clothing for a week. Helen sighed, explaining how difficult it had been to get Chris to wear the dress in the first place. He had been mortified at the idea of wearing a girl's dress, but eventually he had given in. Susan listened intently, feeling sorry for both Chris and his mother. She sympathized with the difficulties that came with parenting a child who acted out in school. But as she watched Chris run around in his red dress, she saw something else, he was having fun. He didn't seem to care that he was wearing a dress, and the other kids didn't seem to care either. Susan took a deep breath, summoning the courage to speak up. You know, Helen, she said, I don't think it matters what Chris wears. He's still your son, and he's still a wonderful person. Helen looked at Susan, surprised. What do you mean? she asked. I mean, Susan continued, that it doesn't matter if Chris wears a dress or not. He's still the same person, and I think he deserves to be accepted for who he is. And if that means he wants to wear a dress, then so be it. Helen was quiet for a moment, considering what Susan had said. As she watched her son play, she realized that Susan was right. Chris was still the same person, regardless of what he wore. And if he was happy, then that was all that mattered. Thank you, Susan, Helen said, smiling at her new friend. You're right. Chris is still my son, and I love him no matter what. And I think it's time for me to start accepting him for who he is. The two women watched their children play, both feeling a sense of pride and contentment. Chris and Veronica ran around, their red dresses billowing in the wind, and for a moment, everything was perfect. If you liked my story the please follow me on my channel at Sissitania18. I am always looking for friends accepting me for who I am. Yours Tanya